water dragon. It's dead. Now what are we supposed to do? We have the dragon orb, but no water dragon for it to control. No matter how hard Himiko tries to locate Oni Island, without that dragon, there's no way we can break the barrier. Hey, something's coming. <laughs> Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I'm afraid there's no time left for me to speak now, but I do need to thank you. What for? And who are you, anyway? I am King Wada. The 27th King of the Dragonians. King of the Dragonians? So then, you were that water dragon? It was I, the water dragon, god of the sea, ruler of the deep. O oh, great god Amaterasu, as you well know, there are ill omens heralding the coming of great strife throughout Nippon. Even the Dragonians have suffered under the forces of darkness. They seek to prevent me from using my power. The power to break the barrier that protects Oni Island. I waged battle against the Dark Lord and consumed the dark instrument he wielded. But the instrument lodged in my stomach and drove me to madness. Instrument of the Dark Lord? You mean this thing? Yes, the Fox Rods. Without the Fox Rods, the Dark Lord has limited power. Now all of the monsters are doing everything they can to locate them. I see. They're like a key to his power or something. I can rest easy knowing they are in your hands, Amaterasu. I also ask that you give my wife, Otohime, the Dragon Orb. It is the heart of the dragon. It will bring peace to my people. Alas, my end is near. I have slain many innocents while in the grip of madness. I pray that their souls may rest in peace in these watery depths. These deep blue waters the people of Ryoshima Coast so dearly love. Farewell, Amaterasu. I shall pray for your good fortune. Amaterasu, you made it! B busty babe I saw the crazed water dragon thrashing about from the shore, so I hurried here to the Dragon Palace, just in case... Aw, uh, you don't have to worry about us. I mean... Nothing can stop old Ami here. Not fire, not water, not... Tell me, Amaterasu. What happened to the water dragon? Did he reveal the secret of penetrating Oni Island? Hey, it's not nice to interrupt. I was on a roll, babe. Anyway, the water dragon was actually the Dragonian King. He turned into a dragon to protect the Dragon Palace.
He even snatched these fox rods from their boss. You found the fox rods! Come to think of it, weren't you looking for these, babe? Aren't they the ultimate weapon against the evil beings? Hey, wait a sec. What about what you said about the fox rods? You know, about the ships sinking before they reached Himiko? Why'd we search that stupid ship if they weren't really there? If you're still upset that I put you in danger, I'm sorry. But time is of the essence now. Give me the fox rods, quickly. Now you just hold your melons, babe. I mean, if those monsters are frantically searching for them, whoever has them will have a huge bullseye on their back. Amaterasu? I hope you know what you're doing, you big furball. It's an eerie light they give out, yet somehow alluring. With this, my holy powers will reach their limit. I can destroy every last demon there is. Protecting Queen Himiko with this great power. That is my duty. Don't worry, Amaterasu. I must hurry back to the city now. I shall honor my duty with my life. With your life? Don't go getting yourself killed, babe. Oh, she's gone. Hey, Ami. Quit spacing out. We gotta deliver that dragon orb we got from the water dragon to Otohime right away. We probably can't count on the power of the water dragon anymore. But the Dragonians still consider the dragon orb as their treasure. We'd better return it to them. Hello folks, Everchanger here, and welcome back to more Okami. Last time we entered the depths of the water dragon in search of the dragon orb. And alongside it, we also found the fox rods, which Amaterasu gave over to Rao, who had been searching for them as Ami seems to trust her with their immense power. Anyway, right here, before we do anything else, you can actually use rejuvenation on this little spot right here. If you manage to pull that off... Seems we are able to honor the fallen King Wada after all. And we also get 20 praise. And this treasure chest, which I believe contains something very important for a later side quest. We obtained the treasure box. Secret treasure of the Dragon Palace. Opening it would bring disaster. Interesting stuff, but we're not going to be doing anything with it for a little while. Anyway, now that we have the Dragon Orb, we definitely, definitely want to take it to Otohime. Huh? That box you're carrying? Isn't that the treasure box? You know it contains the gasps of mermaids. It's found at the base of the Millennia Coral that takes seed but once in a thousand years and it grows heavier with each mermaid death. One leaked gasp is said to bring on old age in an instant. But that's an old legend. No one knows if any of it is true. Interesting stuff, but again, we're not going to be covering that for a little bit, probably another four or five episodes. Anyway, we want to head up to the throne room as quickly as possible. Because Otohime needs that orb. I'm back, baby. Oh, what a relief to see that you are unharmed. And what of the dragon orb? You retrieve the dragon orb from the dragon's body? I have no words to express my gratitude. Now that I have the Dragon Orb, I can harness the power of the Water Dragon 
and break the barrier around Oni Island. About that water dragon. It sunk to the bottom of the sea when we took that orb thing. Does that mean the king of the Dragonians is... I mean... Is that king of the Dragonians really your... Yes, it is true. The water dragon was King Wada, my husband. He performed the ancient Dragonian rite of transformation in order to battle the forces of darkness. But he was gravely wounded and flew into an uncontrollable rage. If the king is dead, then the law of succession must be fulfilled. The dragon orb had to be recovered, whatever the cost. And alas, the cost was the king's life. Hear me, Isun. As I have said before, the Dragonians have the resolve to do whatever is necessary. We mustn't hesitate. Now then, Amaterasu, what of the dark instrument of the Dark Lord? Surely you found it lodged in the water dragon's belly. Oh, you mean the fox rods. Queen Himiko's attendant took it. Took it. Yes, she said something about using its power against the evil beings. Himiko's attendant? It is true the dark instrument has unfathomable power. But evil beings are doing all in their power to find it, too. I truly hope this attendant you speak of is trustworthy. All hope would be lost if it fell back into evil hands. Yikes! What's up with this thing? A revelation, perhaps? Perhaps King Wada wishes us to see something before he departs. have any idea what that vision meant? Come on, Ami! Where are you going, Amaterasu? No time to explain now, babe. We gotta get over to Ankoku Temple quick! Remember, Amaterasu, there is still hope. I shall wait here for Queen Himiko's revelation. Let us meet once again, wherever Oni Island may appear. May the god of sea watch over you. Indeed, it would seem that the Dark Lord or the Dark Forces or whatever have discovered that Rao now possesses the Fox Rods, or at least that's what the vision would seem to indicate. She is in grave danger and we must get over to Ankoku Temple as quickly as possible. I definitely, definitely recommend making use of any warping capabilities you have. Oh wait, you can't? Really? Wow. Hold on a sec, Ami. How far do you plan on traveling using this thing? Oh, I get it. They want to prevent sequence breaks. I get it. So it looks like we have to run over there the old-fashioned way, which I guess is a bit more noble of us. that we have reached the shore once again we need to get as quickly to Ankoku Temple as we can that is actually on regular Ryoshima coast not North Ryoshima coast so it's actually quite a bit of a run but considering the magnitude of what is going on it is definitely important that we make our way over there it is worth noting at this point that 
Rao was initially the head priestess of Ankoku Temple, which is the big building over on regular Ryoshima Coast. However, she was apparently summoned to Seon City because her holy powers were needed in order to help Queen Himiko in her efforts. What might she be doing back over there? We can only speculate. The epic run continues. Ankoku Temple is where that red circle is all the way over there on the map. I definitely, definitely recommend avoiding as many enemies as you can as you make your way over there, because as you might imagine, the dark forces in search of the fox rods will stop at nothing to recover them, and we do not want to waste any time. We need to get over to Ankoku Temple as quickly as we possibly can. I don't recommend stopping at the merchant, I don't recommend fighting any enemies, you just want to get over here as quickly as you possibly can in order to make sure Rao is safe. Anyway, with that, we are here. Whoa, it's the busty babe. Huh? She's gone. Wait, babe, wait! She wants us to follow her. Not again. Where does she want us to go? What the? You see that, Ami? That busty babe went right through the wall. And indeed, right through the wall here, at least there should be, there is a cavern. Who would have thought there'd be a secret passage here? You feel a draft coming out of the well? It must lead to that busty babe, or I'm a monkey's uncle. Hurry, Ami. Leap before you think, right? Hey, there's a body here. Wow, looks like it's been laying here forever. There's nothing but bones and some clothing left. Hmm... Now where have I seen clothes like that before? A strange apparition of Rao? A strange skeleton? Down here, in the dank depths of a well? What could it mean? It means treasure, of course. Okay, no, I don't want to take away from too much. We obtained a scroll, Northern Land. Normally I would read that. It contains some very important information for later. But considering the circumstances... I am going to be foregoing that for a little while yet. Anyway, we leave through this exit, and you will be very surprised to see that it plunks us out inside Himiko's palace. Huh? Isn't this Himiko's palace? Why is there a tunnel from Ankoku Temple to here? At this point, I definitely recommend re-equipping the fire tablet. You do not want to meet a super fiery death because you forgot to equip the fire tablet, so make sure you get on that as quickly as you can. Your m m majesty Queen Himiko. Hey Toots, what the heck happened? She's passed out.
A foreboding evil has cast itself upon Ryoshima Coast once again. Now it seems that the attendants of Queen Himiko have been attacked by some unknown force. What could it all mean? The answer indeed lies at the end of this hallway. Huh? What the heck happened? Hey, pretty, le pretty lady. Himiko. She's... She's... Dead. It was terrifying. A monster ten times my height appeared. It destroyed the magical barrier and left Queen Himiko like that. Busty babe? Is that you? What monster are you talking about? That ginormous thing that attacked you at Onkoku Temple? I'm... I'm scared now. The evil beings we must defeat to save the people in the city. Their leader is such a mighty beast. No human could stand up to it. Our feeble mortal resistance is futile. Dang it. Himiko said she'd be okay as long as she had that crystal ball. So how the heck did this happen? Hey, Ami, why do you keep staring at the busty babe? Himiko's dead. Aren't you the least bit sad? What's wrong, Ami? Amaterasu? What are you doing? Down, Ami! Have you lost your mind? Are you in the grip of the evil curse as well? Huh? What the... What's up with those freaky eyes of yours, babe? You're freaking me out. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Well, carrying on with this any longer would spoil the fun. You are a cunning beast, Amaterasu. I lured you to the treasure ship as bait for the water dragon. But you escaped and managed to get your paws on the lucky mallet. You even cleared the city of the poison mist. You also started searching for Oni Island to bring down my fortress, and you even managed to tame the mighty water dragon. But... But now that the water dragon has gone, my fortress is impregnable, and Himiko is but a lifeless corpse. You'll never know where Oni Island is now. Ha 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 ha, luck must be on my side. Occupying the body of this priestess, Rao, made it so simple. Breaking Himiko's magical barrier was easy once I got close to her. Ami, where's the busty babe we know and love? It's all thanks to this item you got back from the water dragon. All because the fox rods are mine once again. Amaterasu, you foolish beast. To think that you parted with this mighty source of magic so easily. Know that it was you who revived the power of the Dark Lord. She's really the Dark Lord? The Grand Master of Evil Beings? The Fox Rods made the Crystal Ball's barrier shatter like glass. Oh, if only you'd been here to see Himiko die. I think I'll take the crystal ball with me, in the event that one of your pathetic friends tries to locate me. And if I deal with you now too, Amaterasu, nothing will stand in the way of my world of evil beings. Ami, remember the Dragonian King's revelation? He was showing us how Foxface here killed the real busty babe. Boy, she's a real good faker. She had me totally fooled. 
And look what she did to poor little Himiko. Well, at least we won't have to worry about Oni Island anymore. We're gonna finish you off right here. So begins the battle with Rao, who it turns out is indeed the Dark Lord who has been masterminding everything that has been happening ever since we arrived here at Ryoshima Coast. We never knew Rao. Rao was dead long before we made it here to Ryoshima Coast. In her place was this evil apparition, the Dark Lord, who has been attempting to take over all of Ryoshima Coast and presumably the world. Himiko now lies dead, as does King Wada. This evil Rao has been destroying the royalty of Ryoshima Coast, and we must take her out as soon as possible to prevent any more evil actions from taking place. Getting into the fight itself, this is probably the most difficult fight in the game up to this point, just because she has a lot of health and she can dish out a lot of damage. What you want to do is you want to hit back all of these swords at her, and that will leave her open to attack. As you can see, she is quite fast, and she is also fox-faced. Interesting, considering what was guarding the fox rods inside the water dragon last time. You might recall, there were only eight of those tube foxes, but looking closely at the fox rods, there are indeed nine rods. It would seem we have found the final beast in control of that evil weapon. What kind of power could that weapon hold? None may know except us, as we have seen the damage it has done to the people of Ryoshima Coast, and the damage it has done to Himiko herself, who now lies dead on the floor. You definitely want to make sure she gets vulnerable with that colorless effect as soon as possible, and I also recommend using a Veil of Mist liberally in this fight, as with most other fights, just because it leaves the enemy open for many more attacks. Unfortunately, my ink is actually running low, even with this immense power of the golden ink pot. One thing that is also worth noting, the sword she is wielding. We bought a sword back in Seon City, known as the Seven Strike. That one does appear similar in nature, except it indeed has nine prongs. Indeed, again, with the number nine. What could it possibly mean? Anyone who has played Pokemon might be able to figure it out at this point. But with that, we take down Rao. Okay, we have her now, Ami. Let's finish off that fox-headed wench. Ignorant fools, did you really think it would be that easy? I have powers beyond belief. Here is but a taste of what the Dark Lord can do. Humph. Petty deity, it is only the size of this room that saved you. It is far too small for me to unleash my true fury. However, Resistance is futile, for your last remaining hope is gone. I shall now return to Oni Island and rally my dark forces. Then we'll go forth and crush all who stand against the darkness. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Amaterasu had allowed the Dark Lord to slip away. The display of evil sent chills down the wolf's spine. 
Amaterasu and Isun were left to wallow in overwhelming sadness. Himiko had remained steadfast in her quest to find Oni Island. In the end, she lost her life at the hands of the Dark Lord. With Himiko died all clues to the location of Oni Island. Amaterasu and Isun were left with nary a shred of hope. Giving up on their quest seemed the only option. That's when they noticed that the blood-caked crystal ball, spewed forth by the Dark Lord, clearly displayed an image of Himiko. Isun, doubting his eyes, listened intently as Himiko began speaking. She explained that Oni Island would not be easy to find, and that she had determined to become ethereal and enter the crystal ball herself in search of clues. She had allowed herself to be consumed in order to use the Dark Lord's power. She was also aware that the Dark Lord now possessed the Fox Rods. All was planned. Himiko's will infused the crystal ball with great power. The fortress housing the Dark Forces materialized. Oni Island appears only at sunset in a certain location. The place revealed by the crystal ball was none other than a spot just off the northwest shore of Ryoshima Coast, near the spot known as Watcher's Cape. Oni Island would appear again at Watcher's Cape at the next sunset. A small glimmer of hope returned to our heroes' hearts. Just as the image of Oni Island faded from the crystal, a deep crack appeared and split Himiko's image. She had paid the ultimate price for manipulating the dark power. The crystal itself had been spent. The destiny of Himiko's very soul had been inextricably entwined with that of the crystal ball. A burst of blinding light heralded the crystal's demise. Himiko's soul was caught up in the shattered fragments and drifted serenely toward the heavens above, even as she prayed fervently for Amaterasu's safe passage. <laughs>